Good morning to you. A rainless October paired with wind making for a tough situation. Most of November has been dry as well, so the streak continues. Here in Staten Island, we're outside Brookfield Park. These conditions are not so windy where you don't smell the fire, but if the wind was blowing in a different direction, you would smell that burning ash smell. Luckily, even though there are homes around the park, none of them are in danger. The fire is deep inside Brookfield Park, and that's part of the problem because firefighters are having a tough time getting to that fire. Firefighters marching into the park with gear, but they do have it under control. That is the good news. With dry conditions, in addition to wind, the FDNY is keeping a close eye on this. This is reportedly the fifth fire in recent days. The dry weather combined with the record temperatures across the tri-state has contributed to a higher fire risk. In the extremely dry October, putting fire officials in New Jersey on notice. In New Jersey, the Forest Fire Service responded to more than 500 incidents last month. Look at these flames. New Jersey issuing a fire ban because of the dry brush. In Ocean County, New Jersey, a number, a, a number of homes have been asked to evacuate not far from Great Adventure. 25 structures in the area are being threatened by a wildfire in Jackson Township. It's being referred to as the shotgun fire with about 175 acres burning and only 20% contained. Forest fire crews have been surrounded by the blaze on the ground with fire engines and bulldozers. Part of New Jersey's fire ban prohibits all fires unless using an elevated stove, but no wood or charcoal fires are allowed. Kerosene, definitely not allowed. The next several days are of specific concern because of forecasted wind gusts as well as this low humidity. That is the danger, especially with no rain in the near future. Maybe a little this weekend, but it may not be enough to dampen out these fire dangers. Thankfully, so far in either fire, no injuries have been reported, but the cause of both of these fires still under investigation. We're live in Staten Island. I'm Calarama, PIX11 News.